Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Data Cloud Now. I'm currently at Snowflake Build, where I'm delighted to be joined by EVP of product, Christian Kleinerman. Christian, such a pleasure to be back with you at Snowflake Build. Always good to see you, Ryan. Christian, you just got off the stage and dove into three innovation themes that are shaping the future of the AI Data Cloud. Could you please give us a recap of each and the impact these have on customers? Yeah, so, so we, we structure our announcements on, on, on the three pillars. The, the first one was around uh, data architecture on your terms. Uh, important message to, to our customers is we want to give them choice. Choice of storage, choice of architecture, choice on catalog, choice on deployment. Um, basically, we do not want anyone to feel that they are trapped or using Snowflake because they have to know. Like, we want to free the data. If you want to interrupt with other engines, totally fine to do so. Uh, the second pillar was around AI and ML. Large focus and emphasis on AI and ML that you can trust. I think we've gone from people were running prototypes and trying things out to now this is going into production, but how do you know that those production workloads can be trusted? How do you know that the results are good? Someone may tell you, well, only 5% of the results are not accurate. Like, which 5%? So, so it's challenging. So our, our focus and emphasis is on, on trust. And, and the third one is around unmatched collaboration, where the essence of the AI data cloud for Snowflake is how do we help, help organizations collaborate with data products, whether it's a data set, whether it's a full-blown application, or maybe just an AI model or a fine-tuned LLM. So all of these capabilities help customers get more value out of the data. Great perspectives, thank you, Christian. And there was a lot of talk today around how a strong data foundation is imperative to helping builders unlock the next wave of AI-powered apps and agents. Can you share a couple specific products unveiled today that you're excited about and how to help builders on their AI journeys? How much time do we have? Because there's a lot. <laughs> Probably top of the list is we brought Snowflake notebooks to general availability on all three clouds. And this has been something that our customers, our users have been asking for quite some time initially to do notebooks. Once we did notebooks, it's like, okay, we're ready. Can you get it out of preview and put it in general availability? Very substantial uh, announcement for, for us today. We also announced the, the introduction of a Cortex chat API, which enables the building of conversational experiences, chatbots, over both structured and unstructured data and have even multiple indexes. So you may have, here's some unstructured data, here's some other unstructured data, here's maybe some other unstructured data from the marketplace, here's a corpus of structured data, and you can just have a conversation with all of that seamlessly. And the third one, if I, if I may uh, add a third one, we introduced Snowflake Intelligence which is brand new experience, focus at business users being able to get value out of the data, whether it's structured or unstructured, and build what we call data agents. So imagine if you can ask a question and say, oh, run my forecast, and if the forecast drops from some threshold, call into some application or update some records or trigger some other workflow. That type of more complex, operations and responses to, to data as a way to activate data. So Snowflake Intelligence, incredibly excited about it. An exciting next chapter indeed. How is Snowflake's ecosystem of customers and partners building on the AI data cloud today? And how is Snowflake's latest developer innovations and updates to cross-cloud collaboration make this even easier? So one of the other announcements this morning at Build was around the general availability of native apps with Snowpark container services. And one of the, the, the coolest things about the announcement is that many of our partners that have been co-developing at the same time that we've been doing our work are also announcing at build the availability, the launch of their products. We had folks like Relational AI doing uh, graph processing. We had folks like Landing AI doing visual intelligence and, and, and uh, hosting of visual models. A lot of the LLM talk is about text. These folks at Landing have been focused on video, on images. So I think that's one of the most exciting things, which is they, not only we brought capabilities to market, but we're holding ha hands with an amazing set of partners that are announcing uh, a suite of products that are built. 
That's clearly all taking place here at Build. Now let's take a step back for a moment and look at this from a, a macro lens. What impact will today's announcements have on the enterprises? I think all, all three sections have something very meaningful for, for organizations. The, the first one, if there is any doubt from organizations out there that Snowflake is great for a lake house architecture or Snowflake is great for a data mesh architecture, hopefully we put that to bed. We want to offer choice. We want customers to focus on what is the data architecture that best works for their business needs, not what is the data architecture that my, the technology that I decided to use forces me into. So that, that's a very concrete business outcome and value. AI and ML, every organization is under some level of exploration or sometimes even pressure to say, how is AI helping you? How are you going to have better business outcomes? How are you going to be more productive with AI? And I think we're past the, should we do it? Does it work? Is it? No, I think now we've shown you can put it into production. You can trust it. We announce observability capabilities to know how this is behaving over time. And we're helping organizations put AI into production. And the last one around collaboration, again, we've been doing it now for a number of years, but we want companies to connect with one another, share, uh, again, data, again, APIs, but probably novel to today is models and LLMs. Great to hear, Christian. Before we wrap here, what advice would you like to give to organizations so that they can future-proof their businesses? So here's a, a tactical aspect, which is the keynote is, is one hour. We just barely scratch the surface on a lot of topics. We have three days of content that built. All of it is going to be available for, for viewing on demand. So the tactical recommendation for everyone is go back and look at all the sessions that are available and see how the different technologies, the different innovations that we have, help them. Maybe at a bigger picture, more strategic level, I think it's important for everyone to understand how AI can influence their business. I, I think that the disruptive potential is real. I think that the productivity enhancement potential is real. And I think every organization, if they're not already doing it, should be looking at that. And of course, we would love for that to be done with Snowflake. Well, Christian, always a pleasure sitting down with you. Thank you so much for letting me join you at Snowflake Build. Thank you, Ryan, for having me. Very excited. And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green with Data Cloud Now. We'll see you soon.